Hey everybody, it's Jim here. It's been a few weeks since I filmed an episode of Audio Mo After Hours where I try and just make it through the entire video without any cuts, but seeing as though we're still setting up the new studio and really moving into the new house as a whole, I figured this would be a really great time to not only introduce you to the new amp that is going to be the workhorse amp on this YouTube channel going forward and hopefully onto a stage near you in Southwest Florida, but talk about why I chose it. The Dr. Z Z Plus Studio Combo. When I was younger, there used to be a store called Parkway Music. Well, there still is. They just moved locations on Route 9 in Clifton Park, New York. I used to go there every day after school in the late 90s to try and meet other musicians, set up a jam session, potentially find other band members and try out gear because that was a lot of fun at the time. In two of their demo rooms, they had Dr. Z amplifiers. Both were Maz Juniors. What I remember about those two amps were two things. The first was... Anything I played sounded awesome through those amps. And sometimes I would get angry because I'd purchase a pedal, then I'd get home and it wouldn't sound anywhere near as good as it did in the store. That's a common trick that these places play on you. The second was, I couldn't have afforded it anyways because at the time, I was a broke high school kid. But fast forward to present day, and I have learned a lot about the boutique amp industry that was new to me, even having starting to make relationships with some manufacturers that make guitars, pickups, pedals, and amplifiers I hadn't known before. What I thought was going on with all these boutique brands was they were all building them themselves in their own workhouses. Perhaps some of them had grown so much that they had to expand their facilities and hire more people in order to meet the demands of the market. But what I had learned was that wasn't always the case. Some of these people were just contracting other companies to have them be built for them. And I'm not here to say that that's a bad thing to do, nor am I here to knock that or say this way is better than this way or whatever. But for me, when I found that out, that kind of took a little bit of the magic away from it, knowing it was just a little bit differently made than I had you know, initially thought. I found myself looking for a new amp about four months ago. I switched from primarily using single coils to playing a lot of guitars that had humbuckers and now even one that has P90s and I was looking for an amplifier to replace the 5 watt amp so I could have a bit more headroom and hopefully I could find one that would have spring reverb built into it. Long story short, I found myself on YouTube, much like you just found yourself in order to find this video, right? And I found a YouTube channel called Stephen Anthony. And all he did was praise Dr. Z. And I'm not talking about just the amps. He praised the man himself. He talked about being able to have a conversation with him. I'm going to leave a link to this video in the description because this left such a strong impression with me that it sent me down a rabbit hole on Dr. Z's YouTube channel and onto forums afterwards. And it was all just so natural. And you could tell the guy was just really passionate in the way he spoke about the company and his interactions and his everything. It was just real and it was awesome. So again, I did find myself on Dr. Z's channel and I feel like I got to know him pretty well just through old live streams that were pre-recorded, learning about amp designs, amp decisions, things that you should look out for, how to maintain your own amp. The guy is just a wealth of knowledge and eventually I found myself at Sweetwater shopping around for which Dr. Z amp I think maybe might be able to fit the bill and we landed here at the Z+. Just a brief overview. Again, this is not some sort of demo video. We're going to do a full demo video on this, and I really want to do it justice. We're going to use all different kinds of guitars and settings and pedals. But this has got two 6v6s, so it's definitely Fender flavored, which is right up my alley. It's got an awesome built-in spring reverb on it. It's 15 watts, scalable down to 7 watts. It's got an FX loop built into it, but that wasn't really a big selling point to me. It's built to last. This is built the old school way. And I learned that because while I was at Sweetwater, they had one of those little video pop-outs where you could learn about each company. And I watched a factory tour, and this is what really sold me on the brand. The workshop in there was completely the opposite of what I had talked about earlier with some of the other boutique brands. It looked like a normal, small, everyday man's workshop. They had individual workstations and they had all their parts laid out. Every person had a different task and in some cases, just one amplifier that they would work on. It just seemed so grassroots to me and I really did appreciate that. And I haven't talked to Dr. Z or anyone from there. They have no idea I'm making this video, but 
I felt immediately like this is the kind of company that I wanted to support. It reminded me a lot of how I've had a relationship or I had a deal that I worked with Lawler Pickups on. It gave me the same kind of just really, really positive vibes. And when I got the amplifier, let me tell you, I was knocked away, man. This thing just rips. It absolutely rips. And I knew that the clean tone was going to be good. But what surprised me was this. Before we moved out of the house, there were only two things remaining in that music room. And I took a picture of it, which you're going to see on the screen. I left the Gibson Les Paul out and this amp on the stand with just a cable. No pedals, no nothing. I was able to crank it because at the time, nobody was in the house. I'll never forget this. I've never had this happen at home. I've had this happen on the gig once or twice, but never at home because you can't do it at those volumes without pissing everybody off. Had the amp cranked and the actual vibrations I was getting, not just from the neck, but from the guitar itself. The combination of that Les Paul and this amp was alive and it was just mind blowing. I hope that at one point in your life on your guitar journey, I don't care if it's through a Dr. Z, if it's through a Gibson Les Paul, whatever it's through, I hope you get to experience that because I was really, really taken aback and I've just, I've been in love with the thing ever since and I've had this now for a few weeks and I know I can be a little bit sneaky here and I don't always show you gear that I get as soon as I get it because at the end of the day, I do things for myself too sometimes. It's not just all about YouTube and about content and being an influencer. I really do despise that word, by the way. However, this thing is the absolute real deal. I cannot wait to show you guys more. No, nobody paid me for this. Nobody supplied this to me. This goes without saying at this point. I got this on my own dime, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. <laughs> Now there's one last thing that I learned that Dr. Z offers that I've never heard of any other amp manufacturer offering that I thought was pretty cool. If you have one of their amps and they ever release an updated version of it, normally you'd have to go out and buy the new one. With them, you could send them the old one and they'll just update the board up to new spec. That's unheard of. And if you know any other brands that'll do that, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll be happy to give them their shine as well. But when I learned that, I was like, damn, like that is just incredible customer service. Most places just like, well, here's the new product. Your old one's not good anymore. You better get rid of it and you better buy the new one knowing that, you know, that your stuff is built to last and it can be modified and that they'll update it for you. I thought that that was just the icing on top of the cake, so to speak. And man, this is one sweet sounding cake. Speaking of that, when we do do the full playthrough demonstration, expect a very long video. I'm probably going to make a few short videos where I focus on the individual kind of single coil video, humbucker video, and then other pickups, whether it's, you know, the Lollertrons or P90s. But the main video is probably going to be over a half hour long. I'm not going to lie to you. I want to do the best possible job that I can to portray just how awesome this thing sounds. And I'm going to try everything necessary as far as different microphone combinations, spacing, placement on the cabinet itself, because damn, in the room, if you were sitting here with me and you could hear this thing, I know you'd be sold too if you were into these sorts of tones. And on top of that, it's built to last by people that really do care. That's it for today. I love you all. We'll be back to normal content, hopefully within the next week or two. But this is the new amp, the Z Plus. The old one is no more. You will not see that on the channel anymore. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take it easy.